Jehovah's Witnesses are a Christian sect with beliefs based on Christian Bible. They are known for proselytizing and prophesying the end of the world. The Watchtower Bible and Tract Society is the church's governing body. While their scriptures are based on Christianity, the followers strictly believe that God is not a deity but a person. Jehovah's Witnesses' beliefs on death and afterlife differ from mainstream Christianity in two ways. First, they believe in the death of the soul and the body. Simply put, according to Jehovah's Witnesses, the soul ceases to exist until the end of the world. Since the soul does not live on and their beliefs do not put emphasis on the body, the followers are encouraged to cut ties with the deceased. Second, they do not believe in hell. The sect does not believe that God would subject his creation to suffering. Therefore, they do not fear death, instead it is considered a state of nothingness. Since mourning is uncommon, funeral customs such as wakes and sacrifices are usually avoided. Jehovah's Witnesses' funerals usually take place at a funeral home or the Kingdom Hall. They are open to the public which reflects the proselytizing nature of the sect. People attending the funeral who are not Jehovah's Witnesses are often referred to as non-witnesses. The atmosphere is modest with limited mourning. Almost all attendees wear dark semi-formal attire, much like mainstream Christian funerals. The funeral may or may not be open casket. There is no reception but it is acceptable to take food or flowers for the deceased's family. If you're attending a Jehovah's Witness funeral as a non-witness, it is best to keep the following funeral etiquettes in mind. Attendees wear dark semi-formal clothing. Men usually wear a suit while women usually wear a conservative dress. Funeral practices are kept reserved and modest with no display of economic status of the deceased. Mourning is expected to not be overly somber as in the religion, death is not a negative event. A typical Jehovah's Witnesses funeral is quick and lasts about 30 to 45 minutes. Gifts to the family are expected to be simple. Recording or the use of cell phones is usually prohibited at the funeral. Always check with the elder before doing either. Funeral condolences, a good approach is to say sorry for the person's loss acknowledge their sorrow and share happy memories of the deceased. Refrain from using overly pagan statements like your loved one is in heaven now. Certain aspects of a Jehovah's Witness funeral are unique to the sect. They are as follows. Services usually happen at the local kingdom hall. Funerals are usually held on Sundays. Jehovah's Witnesses funerals last between 30 to 45 minutes only. Attendees may be given a souvenir, a small card containing photos, song lyrics and a few words about the deceased. There is only one speaker for the service who is an elder man in the congregation. The speaker briefly speaks about the deceased's life and the faith they had. They end the speech by making a few prayers and reading the Bible. Selected reading usually highlights hope and promise of a future heaven on earth. No eulogies are made for the deceased by the loved ones. Last but not least, usually at the end, a song chosen by the deceased's family from the Jehovah's Witness songbook is sung and all attendees are invited to take part.